Meanwhile, a third woman has come forward with sexual harassment allegations against the governor. In the wake of these allegations, even more lawmakers are pushing for the governor to resign. 18 News reporter Tara Lynch joining us now live in the studio with the latest. Tara, what can you tell us tonight? Good evening, Zach and Jordan. As you said, there is more unfolding today in Albany, and we are going to break it down for you. Here is what we know so far. According to a New York Times report, Anna Ruck also ac accused the governor of inappropriate behavior. She is the third woman to come forward, and she claims she met the governor at a wedding reception in 2019, where he placed his hands on her lower back. When she removed his hands, she said she was being, quote, aggressive. And then he put his hands on her cheeks, asking if he could kiss her. The Attorney General, Letitia James, called for an independent investigation through her office, to which the governor said he would comply. The governor apologized, but claims his words were misinterpreted. One of the accusers, Charlotte Bennett, says that this was not enough. In part, it took 24 hours for the governor to allow for a truly independent investigation. And now six Democratic Assembly members are calling for the governor's resignation, saying, quote, impeachment proceedings are the appropriate avenue for us to pursue as legislators. State Republicans are frustrated, saying the governor should be removed from power due to the multiple accusations against him. If this comes out proven true, if everything, then he should be resigning from office. He shouldn't be in office if that's the case. Uh, and there's come, I think there's a lot of questions out there that wonder if he's able to even do, do his job. The constant drip, drip of new accusations coming out, uh, just another one, a new one yesterday. Uh, you know, how many more are going to come? And as you just heard, Governor Cuomo's emergency powers are potentially going to be removed, something Republicans have been requesting for months. And this investigation is also impacting the governor's approval rating with New Yorkers. The latest Emerson College News Nation poll finds the governor is in a precarious position with his job approval rating near 38%. According to the poll, 37% of voters think that the claims of sexual harassment are grounds for resignation, while 34% believe otherwise. 29% are left unsure. This poll can be found in its entirety on our website, mytwintears.com. And one local advocacy group is surprised, is not surprised, excuse me, by the slow trickle of accusers coming forward because this is something we've seen in the past. We've seen in um, cases, for example, within the Catholic Church or other institutions where there have been high profile, either institutions or individuals, where there have been allegations of abuse, um, that um, one disclosure may lead to others. There is support available throughout the Southern Tier. There are hotlines available with trained counselor advocates who can provide support, help people understand what their options are, and help people um, plan for their safety and heal. The Advocacy Center said there are several resources available to those who have suffered sexual harassment and other violence. There is a lot to discuss this week at our Capitol, and 18 News will continue to bring you the latest updates. For now, in studio, Tara Lynch, 18 News.